Thinking about going electric or just curious about EVs in general? Well, you are in the right place. I am Jim and this is my Chevy Bolt EUV. It's a compact all-electric SUV that's affordable, practical, and perfect for daily commutes. Now, let's dig in because 65,000 miles in 28 months and my Bolt EUV has seen it all. From a $900 repair that should have never happened to a battery that's still kicking strong, a new set of tires, and almost 12,000 miles in cross-country trips. Stick around to learn a bit about EV ownership. No fluff, no sponsors, just the real deal. I've owned an EV now for going on six years. I've put over 140,000 miles on the various EVs that I own and operate. And you're gonna learn a lot in today's video. And trust me, there's one surprise that you won't see coming. It has to do with the drive battery. I'll say it up top, this car is a beast of a daily commuter. Nothing in its price range comes even remotely close. But let's go ahead and dive into that one real hiccup that I've already mentioned. Here we go. The one big hiccup? Well, it has to be the telematics control unit. Think remote access and OnStar. Think GPS. That system died in December of 2024. It was past the warranty, so I had to shell out $900 for a part that only cost $120 off the shelf. Ouch, <laughs> that hurt. What stings the most isn't just the price, it's the pattern. I've talked to other Bolt and GM owners who've had similar failures. If this is a known weak link, it should be recalled, or at the very least, covered longer. This isn't a wear item. It's infrastructure. GM's got to do better. This issue pops up too often across their entire lineup, but it's been my only major issue in 65,000 miles. Road trips? Well, the Bolt EUV isn't a Tesla. I'll admit that. It's 55 kilowatt fast charging means longer stops. Think 45 minutes or more. Now, I've tackled multiple 300 to 500 mile trips and three epic 1200 plus mile hauls. But plan for every charge, say every 150 miles or so, and you're golden. It's not built for cross country sprints, but for flexible adventurers, uh, it gets the job done with no problem. Here's a trick that I've learned. Stack your charging stop with a meal, a walk, or even a quick editing time if you're a content creator. You're not wasting time, you're repurposing it. Drop in the comments what's been your longest EV road trip in a Bolt. Next up are the tires. I ditched the factory set at 42,000 miles for Nexon N5000 Platinum All Seasons High Quality, although they're not EV specific. And after 23,000 miles on these tires, they're barely halfway worn, holding up great for an EV. I run them slightly over stock pressure for even wear, and they handle the bolt's weight like a champ because they're XL rated. A quick tip is check your tire pressure monthly, especially in colder months. EVs are heavier, yes, and uneven tire pressure can really hurt your range and your handling. The bottom line is you don't need pricey EV tires to get solid performance, and I'll put a link to a video that I did about that in the description below. Be sure to watch that. Now let's talk charging, charging at home specifically. Duke Energy hiked my rates by 40% from about 10.5 cent per kilowatt hour to over 15 cent per kilowatt hour. With the Bolt getting about 4 miles per kilowatt hour, that's coming out to about 3.5 cent per mile. Gas, at $3 a gallon and 25 MPG, you're still paying $0.12 cent per mile, period. And that's just for fuel. Factor in oil changes, spark plugs, and filters, and my maintenance spreadsheet shows that I have saved hundreds in upkeep. 
You don't think about that on a week-to-week -week basis, but over two years, it really adds up. And even with the rate hike from our friends at Duke Energy, I'm still saving two-thirds per mile or more. EVs are still the budget champ for people who have the ability to home charge. Now comes the big question, battery health. That's the big question for everybody. How's your battery holding up? And I can say that after 65,000 miles, my Bolt is at 63.4 kilowatt hours, down just 1.6 kilowatt hours from its original 65 kilowatt hours. That's 97.6% capacity after 28 months and 65,000 miles. Let me repeat that. That's 65,000 miles and still over 97%. That's better than some gas cars are holding at compression at this point in time from their factory original capacity. Here's my top secrets. I rarely dip the battery below 30% and I rarely charge above 80 or 85%. And I also stick to slow home charging unless I'm out on the road and need a DC fast charge or when I'm doing a charging roundup video for folks here on YouTube. Forget the oil industry myths. My battery is not going to die at 100,000 miles. Data says it'll stabilize in loss at about 125 to 150,000 miles and then taper off slowly to about 250 to 300,000 miles where it'll drop off more abruptly. So I should easily get 300,000 miles out of this battery if not more. What's your take on EV battery life? Drop it in the comments below and let me know what you're getting out of your car. One $900 repair, a rate hike, and this Bolt EV is still a commuter beast. It's cheap to run, it's low maintenance, and the battery is going extremely strong after 65,000 miles. And if you're eyeing an EV or you already own one, tell me in the comments below, what's your biggest EV question? Hit the like and subscribe button for the next update. And let's keep this EV adventure rolling. And as always, I hope to see you out there or somewhere along that route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody, and drive electric. Thank you.